Good night, good night, viewers. You are cordially welcome to tonight's Rowdy Entertainment, also known as The Shush. We begin tonight's show with a quick recap of union drama. The government has been trying to get the unions to accept a 10% pay cut. <laughs> and the unions have been trying to get the government ministers to accept a 100% pay cut. <laughs> Starting with ministerial phone allowance, housing allowance, vehicle allowance, ceviche and michelada allowance, travel allowance, pity pat allowance, and basically about $30,000 a year in allowances. The teachers and public officers have protested by hosting street-side poster competitions and motorcades. And the government has protested by raising gas prices. Ooh. One government minister even said this on TV. Oh, we're going to protest. What are you protesting? It, it, it baffles me. Like I said, you're wasting your fuel. Well, the gas stations will be happy. The government collects more taxes by the fuel that you're spending, so that's, that's a good point. But other than that, you're not achieving anything. Yep, you know what this is? This is the post-honeymoon stage. <laughs> you know, when the guys start off sweet, they flirt with you, bring your leaf flowers, on a movie, get married, you have a fun honeymoon, and then, all of a sudden, he starts to say, you know pretty, or that you need to learn to clean the house. Yep, this brand new government gone from promising to raise the minimum wage to saying the wage bill too high. Oh, well, time will tell. And another post-honeymoon issue is the gas price conundrum in Belize. Prior to becoming Prime Minister, this is what PM Brisenio once said. So it's a vicious circle with, with, the, with the government and they believe that, oh, we're going to tax it more, we're going to get more money. At the end of the day, they are creating bigger problems for this country. Right? <laughs> and now that he has the top job, gas prices have increased almost every week in 2021. January 9th and 23rd, February 3rd, 9th, 16th and 25th, and in March on the 13th, 19th, and the 22nd, when the gas price jumped by $1.20. Not even fish prices increased that high the day before Easter. Well, one citizen who is fed up with gas prices is Ross Beard. And he wants the world to know via music. Check this out. Beard. The gas price they high, so high. The gas price they high, sky high. I want to cry, so high. Why, why, sky high? Hey, attendant, hey, attendant, give me six dollars. Diesel. Hey government, hey government, I have to park me the vehicle The gas prices they higher than a drone I have to walk to work for me own Me Lee Camry get this one I need some gas from free zone Or maybe trade it for a bike But I'll simply say The gas take me pay The gas price they high, so high. The gas price they high, sky high. I want to cry, so high. Why, why, sky high? Yeah, colorblind, you know we always free room and never regular. We stay so high, pan a sour diesel. Sky high. <laughs> ah, 
talented Belize in that one. Viewers, the shush will break now for our first quick round of commercials. Stay tuned. Notice everyone, and welcome back to the shush. More specifically, welcome to the city of Woyubek's boat today. <laughs> Population 400,000, more or less. <laughs> Folks, the Holy Week begins next Thursday, and so we won't be contaminating that with our crophyism. That said, this will be the final new episode of Shush for March. And we will be back with more Fusting April. So, make we left for now with some juicy, juicy business until then. We begin with Belize's most hated commodity, gas. This is a low now. I got in a gas station yesterday and asked for 25 dollars regular gas. And the attendant said, sir, the premium gas is cheaper by 32 cents. Of course, I take that. So I go back today, go a goody with $100, and tell the same attendant, give me 100 super. And he put it in. When he done, he tell me, oh, you may hear premium gone up by like 150 yesterday, right? <laughs> what the f He set me up and make I take book out. <laughs> okay. I remember I may sign up for a service to get daily scriptures sent to my phone. Well, I switched that to getting daily gas prices sent to my phone because gas prices go up almost every day. One spell, these are my nine, regular are my eight, then regular are 10, and super are like 15. If this continues, everybody will convert their car to beauty. In. But on a serious note, that gas attendant take you for Konomono for true. You deserve to be bags. In this next Bexness, we feature another one of Belize's most hated services, international shipping. We found this one on Facebook. Never again I will ship with freight service. Watch out, Belizeans. From 75 US to 135 US. That is ridiculous. The receipt not even have the size you are paying for one box. The person that came to pick up the box told a young man 75 US then they gave him a receipt for 135 after they already set a price for the box. Don't ship your stuff with them, they chance poor people. My foot size is a 13, and watch it says, never again they will make a dime from me. Okay, my first comment, sir, if a foot size is a 13, the box now will be a size 13, especially if they are Timbalands. And as for the shipping company, they say 75. Then change to 135. Maybe they're related to the same people where they control gas prices. <laughs> but no worry, this matter will be reviewed by our Honorable Street Justice. But in the interim, you are awarded an injunction to remain Bex. <laughs> Moving on now. We have another Bexness about Belize's most hated. So this government could spend millions per vehicles, rent office, hire family and friends, but want to take 10% of we salary? Water bill they go up, light bill they go up, and gas prices they pay Victoria Peak. We <laughs> got for Toros Ganamos to Toros Wacos for true. <laughs> Toros Wacos. <laughs> that brings back memory from a coma I was recently in. <laughs> but your bexness, sir or mum, Sounds more like a union matter. And like the song goes, we shall not be moved. I know my car shall not be moved. Until gas prices start act like they have some sense again. <laughs> and now, we have an interesting Beck submission to analyze. Check it out. Dear Patrick, I'm a big fan of your show. Especially Street Justice, Judge Patty. Tell me where you think about this. Monday was my birthday, right? And so my auntie sent 200 US or 400 Belize dollar for me through Western Union. I gonna pick it up and say, well, now I could afford to do something nice for Easter. 
Well, my sister find out and her birthday that me last week Tuesday. So she messaged my auntie the ball up and say, Auntie, how you forget about me? So <laughs> here what my auntie wanna say, Chantel, you should just give your sister half. <laughs> well, my auntie and sister will probably stop talking to me because she ain't getting sh <laughs> Do you think I'm right or wrong in this situation? Looking forward to hear. <laughs> yeah, your auntie I get cat bell. Me, particular feet. Personally, I agree with your 200 US person or 400 Belize person. <laughs> no man, but from a legal standpoint, I think this is uh, more of a family court matter. So I humbly suggest you refer this matter to Madame Janet. <laughs> and now, for tonight's final business, we have a civilian outrage that we came across. The Belize City Council need to do some about the pile of rubble when they have corner and new road at Douglas Jones Street. More than likely, that Belize broke up Street Limited, <laughs> aka Wasa. Must have gone dig up the f sheet, then left all the mess right there till somebody got crash into it and dead. If that stayed there for one more day, I will scrape it up myself and go drop it out front of City Hall. This is the lone <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sound like a <laughs> matter for true. You know they bad pick we like peel off scab as soon as the farm? Well, is known to dig up sheets as soon as they get paved or cemented. I like they just can't help themselves. So if they are the culprit, I don't think you should be real up with wave. poor Mayor Wagner and the Belize City Council. Your bexness should be directed to the Minister of Water. <laughs> if there is any. <laughs> On that note, you find Bex folks. We're at the end of our bexness for today and for this month. But please, if any of you experience any bexness over the weekend or Easter break, let us know. Send your Bex submission to our Facebook inbox or Instagram DMs, and our Bexness committee will duly analyze them, compile them, and report. We're breaking now for our final Leave It to Ads, and we will be right back. Stay tuned. Good night and welcome back, folks. Here at the Shush, we have been proving that Belizeans got talent. Lot of, lot of, lot of talent. We're continuing that fine tradition tonight with an artist spotlight. And welcome an incredibly talented artist to our show, Cher. Welcome to the show, I Cher. How are you? Thank you for having me You're good, to be Cher. a part of the show. I really appreciate it. All right, so please tell us a little about yourself and when you began developing a love of arts. Well, my name is Shireen Patil. I'm originally from PG, but now residing in Dhammapan. Um, I would say that I first developed a passion for art from a little child. I used to watch my little brother do his pencil and paper drawing, and I was so excited I would watch him for hours and hours, even though he would drive me to move from him, but I would still stay there. <laughs> and um, that is how I developed my passion for art. Um, I started off with pencil and paper, you know, giant cars, um, flowers, and all the little small stuff that people usually start off with. And about um, two to three years ago, I said, you know something, if I could draw on pencil and paper, I must could paint. And so that is how I got into painting and I developed the brand Painting by Sher. So I am a novice in the art scene in Belize, um, but I think I've come a very long way to just being 2021, 20, being the third year as me calling myself an artist or being an artist. So I noticed you draw a lot of like animated characters and comics and that kind of stuff there. You have a reason behind that? Well, I just wanted to bring something different um, to Belize as a culture. I love cartoons. I, I swear I could watch cartoons for hours and hours. Um, and it just brings yeah. a sense of excitement to your environment. As long as you can see your cartoon character that you love as a child, 
it brings back so much memories. And so that is one of the main reasons that I stick to cartoon art because of the excitement, because of the fun as well. I want to draw a much younger audience as well. And it is something that I love to do. Don't get me wrong, I could do trees and flowers and um, birds, etc. But I love cartoon. I love um, acrylic painting. I love portraits. I love abstract art as well because abstract art speaks for itself. So it does not have a negative or a positive way. It's just the way that you feel and the way that you feel like you need to express yourself. So that is the reason that I do a lot of cartoon art. All right, nice. So along that line there, you have any, like, what are some of your art where you cherish the most or like your, if you have a favorite, um, you have any of that? Well, my favorite art, I would say at this time that I have would be this one. Um, I did it last year, just when COVID was starting in March or April. I like it. Because I thought that it brought a lot of expression. You see all the hands. It could be illustrated in your own way, but I illustrate it as the fear that you might have and all the discrimination and everything that you're going through. But at the end of the day, the eyes is still showing. You are still grateful, you're still thankful, and you can come out of any situation that you might face. So I would say that this painting is one of my favorite paintings. Wow. Well, actually, it's the only one that I have at this time. Yeah. I decided to keep this one because I just love this one. I love the details as well, when it comes to the details. And I love the way how it made me feel when I did this painting as well. I like it. So that, you know, keep that for your personal connection, no? Yes, I keep this one for unless, my personal unless connection. Unless they bring me Karek Monk, no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have, um, so what are your most, maybe like your most daring or sensational or maybe even risky art what you do so far? The most riskiest one I've done so far, um, I would say it's the one right above my head. It was a little bit challenging um, trying to get all the colors them together, but who does not like Power Rangers, right? So I decided to incorporate my own Power Rangers with new animes and cartoons that is coming out. And so I decided to do this one. So this one is a very inspirational one it. for me as well. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. All right. So how pe um, tell the audience how they could uh, commission your art or visit your gallery, see your artwork online, whatever. Get any rundown. Well, at this time, I do not have a gallery as yet, but soon. Um, you can meet me on, a, on my Facebook page, that is Paintings by Share, or my Instagram page, or you can always contact me at my phone number, 633-5670, or my email, sharepto27 at gmail.com. And you can just get in contact with me. I will be able to um, assist you. Maybe you're coming up with ideas. I will be able to guide you on what type of art it is that you may want. I do a lot of inspirational quotes as well. Um, things that will make your environment more friendly, more opening, and um, gives you a sense of peace and a sense of pride. Um, so I do a lot of inspirational quotes. Um, I do a lot of cartoons. I do a lot of abstract art as well. So those are the, um, those are the um, ways that you can get in contact with me if you would like to purchase a painting. I want everybody to be able to have at least one painting <laughs> that I created in their home. So right. that is my goal. So the cheapest painting is $35. The most expensive one, of course, is because of the size of the canvas, is $120. So once you get in contact with me, I will be able to look at what it is that you want. We'll be able to discuss prices, and I will be able to have your dreams come true when it comes to what type of art or what type of environment you're looking for. All right, love it, love it. <laughs> all right, so since you don't get all of that seriousness out of the way, right? We have a game uh -huh. we like play, right? So uh, right. if you feel like we are here, share would rather. So I'm gonna give you a few scenarios, and you tell me which option you prefer. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right, then. First one: Would share rather paint strangers who are nude, or? Paint your friends while you nude. 
I think I'll choose the first option. <laughs> when there are you, <laughs> I'll choose the first option for you. I want to pay for you. You need to concentrate, no? <laughs> yes, of course. All right, second question. So, would Cher rather paint using only black and white or only be able to use crayon for the color? I think I will go with black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't like the yeah. crayon then? <laughs> Not a crayon. Maybe if I put coloring pencil as an option. Okay. <laughs> but not crayon. No. <laughs> All right then. All right. The third one. All right. So would Cher rather be able to paint left-handed only, or be able to paint using just your feet? Well, I am left hand, so. Oh, you don't. <laughs> right hand. <laughs> oh, you're left, left handed right like Marley. Yeah, I left handed, so you don't know. Um, but if you give me the option between right hand, I will choose right hand. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for playing with us, and thanks for You're being welcome. a great sport. And congrats for being a great artist. We truly wish you continued success. And Thank you very viewers, much, Patrick. <laughs> viewers, we hope you enjoyed our chat with Share Just Now, and hope you enjoyed tonight's show. As we shared earlier, Shush will be back on April 8th after the Easter break. We will be compiling even more juicy bexness and salacious Shush to share with you, our faithful fans. <laughs> Visit our Facebook page, Colorblind Multimedia, to keep up with all our behind-the-scenes content, giveaways, and other fun shows. Until then, good night and take care.